So, we all know Lucha Underground doesn't like to really announce anything well in advance. It's like, hey, we got some funding, we're coming back. We're going to film this week, and da 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 And they don't just do that to the fans, they do that to their wrestlers that are signed on to long-term, multi-season contracts. It's not multi-year contracts, it's multi-season, which means mm-hmm. some guys are locked in for seven seasons, but seven seasons can take ten years because they don't like to just do a season a year sometimes. And according to uh, Pro Wrestling Sheet, they've obtained some documents that a couple Lucha Underground stars are now suing the company because of this. Uh, Pro Wrestling Sheet states that uh, Lucha Underground star King Cuerno, also known as El Hijo del Fantasma, filed documents in Los Angeles against the El Rey Network and Lucha Underground's production company, Baba G Productions, in accordance with the American Arbitration Association's national rules of resolutions and employment disputes, stating that they're basically holding their wrestlers hostage. Mm -hmm. They go on to state that Lucha Underground pays their guys on a a per episode that they appear on uh, appearance fee, less than $1,000 every time they work. They run anywhere, seasons have run anywhere from 22 to 40 episodes. Good Lord. Now, what the issue here is, is they're stating that other companies like AEW or Ring of Honor or Impact Wrestling or MLW, A, let their wrestlers work other places when they're not working for them, or they run live events and house shows, still allowing their people to work every week and get paid every week. With Lucha Underground basically on ice right now, we don't know what's going on. No one's getting paid because they're not filming. And that's the issue here. Their thing is, because they're under these exclusive Lucha Underground contracts, and most people, they're not letting work other places, they're losing all that money that they could you know, be making. And I think others like, um, where was it? There's others involved here, like I think Joey Ryan's involved, Eva Lise may be involved. There's a couple others that are involved as well. And it's just very interesting that Lucha Underground's being so shady with their talent. Not telling them, hey, don't worry about it. We're coming back on this date. We're going to film here. We're going to pay you this. No, they just literally got to sit and say, hey, what do I do? I mean, Joey Ryan, we saw him being the elite. I don't know. I mean, I assume he would sign with them, with AEW, but they said it right there. They're like, you want a contract? You can't sign with us. You're under that Lucha Underground, basically called it a prison deal. (laughs) Basically. So... It's going to be interesting to see if if this grows any legs, if anything does come from this lawsuit as far as either them allowing their... Because think about this. Lucha Underground's run like a TV show, not like a wrestling company. When we see actors on a TV show, they're still allowed to go out and do movies. Sometimes they're not allowed to do other shows unless it's like on the same network. But they still are allowed to go out and do movies. Like... Um, I think his name's uh, Ty Burrell, the main guy from uh, Phil Dunphy from Modern Family. He does Modern Family, but then we've seen him appear in different movies and stuff. Like he did the the Muppet movies and stuff for Disney while filming Modern Family. So it's not like a TV show is not going to allow their their actors and actresses to not work anywhere while their show's going on live, even when they're on an off season. So that's the interesting thing that I think. If they're going to treat the show like a TV show, then they need to treat their talent like actors and actresses and allow them to do other things. Yeah, I think they, they're trying to gather the best of both worlds. Exactly. But I I, I don't think they kind of realize what they're doing. I don't know. It, and, Lucha Underground is a flawed, And I mean, with, with the season four, which was the last season, no one knew if it was going to come. And then all of a sudden they're just like, a random video came online one day and it was like season four of Lucha Underground. Oh yeah, we're filming in like two weeks. Like what? The talent had no clue, other than like Johnny Morrison who used his hand in the video. That was it. 